When dealing with lintels, it is always recommended to install the rebar and stirrups as per the designer's specifications. Lintel reinforcement requirements will vary based on the loading conditions, the depth of the lintel, width of the opening, concrete strength, and wall thickness. Nudura has prepared engineered lintel tables for Nudura walls that can be used for submission to the building department as well as in the building process in field. For full information on Nudura lintel tables, refer to Appendix E of the Nudura installation manual. It's important to note that the tables do have two limitations. They cannot be used with point loads. They cannot be used with concrete mixes that are less than 20 MPA or 3000 PSI. If these two situations occur, an engineer's design is required. The top reinforcing steel will always be one number four or 10 M bar, which will extend 24 inches or 610 millimeters past each side of the opening. Start by laying the lower horizontal rebar onto the top of the header above the opening. If there are two lengths or more of rebar, tie wire the bars together. Install the required standard forms over the top of the lintel and place the top horizontal rebar into position. Clip the top rebar into the reinforcement notches or cradles located on the top of the webs. Measure and bend the stirrups in either a C or S shape. Note the stirrup dimensions and required spacing that are indicated in Appendix E of the Nudura installation manual. Hook the stirrups around the bottom bar at both ends and lift it into place, hooking the stirrups around the top horizontal bar. Once the bars are set, place the remaining stirrups as required. Placing vertical rebar is required around the openings. Thread the vertical steel down the wall. Vertical steel should be placed one and a half inch or 38 millimeters from the edge of the opening or placed as per specification notes. Nudura recommends you install a course of form lock over the openings to keep the walls straight. Once you've reached your desired first floor wall height, you can place the vertical rebar around the wall. Vertical rebar is threaded through the horizontal steel holding it in place. Once you've reached this step, there are one of two steps that can be completed. If you've reached your desired wall height, the vertical rebar should end at least 3 inches or 76 millimeters below the level to be reached by the concrete. Later in the video we will discuss options that are available when terminating a wall. If your project is to continue to the roof, there are a variety of options available to the installer to correctly continue placing second story forms. Nudura recommends that once the concrete has been placed, dowels are then wet set into the concrete. This method allows the installer to easily fill the forms and not have to have rebar impede his work.